I've had quite a few people over the years ask me to look into targeted individuals. And I've seen stuff about it on Twitter. And I finally got around to spending about three days researching what a targeted individual is. And I put together a show where there's two main whistleblowers, Brian Kofron and Dr. Duncan. Dr. Duncan has worked for DARPA and the CIA. And you're going to see, I'm going to let you see, he was in charge of designing a lot of this tech for wartime against adversaries when they want to get information from them, etc. But unfortunately, he started to see that it was being used on the American people. He talked about how worldwide, he believes there's about a million people that are actually targeted individuals right now that they need to do testing on so that they can start doing what they need to do to bring in this agenda of having everybody hooked up to the internet. We know that they're not denying that this will be a possibility soon and that nobody would offer to be a guinea pig of this technology, but they can't roll it out America-wide or worldwide without guinea pigs. It's impossible. So what they've been doing is targeting people who don't have a lot of friends, who don't have a lot of people they can lean on and testing on their brain this new technology, which they do from far away. Now, there's a lot of mind control that they're showing that they're experimenting on people right now, but it's interesting the way they break down these poor individuals who nobody knows what's wrong with them, who are hearing voices. There's no denying that this technology exists. They're not denying it. Um, but what they're not telling anyone is that right now they are testing out this technology on individuals around the world and America and not letting them know that they're targeted individuals. And so what is happening in their brains and their minds and these weird instructions they're hearing and voices are actually coming from the CIA, but they keep us in fear about war so that we can constantly socially sort of approve, or at least half the population, of a lot of our funds, our taxpayer money, going to military operations. Well, a massive chunk of it is actually going to this, the new way that they're doing war against humanity, which is being able to just control us. They're breaking down the ego. Well, they're doing this with the mind control of the targeted in individuals it's really important that we know that this is going on so we can all wake up to the fact that they have no problem experimenting on us. We use the voice to skull uh, and Eldar long range acoustic device in the Gulf War to say this is all uh, lay down your arms and they believed it. So what is that? Can you explain exactly what that is? The, the LRAD? LRAD is a sonic long range acoustic weapon. The V2K is a microwave weapon. You can't plug your eardrums. You can't stop the sound because it conducts yeah. shit to your brain yeah and it makes it sound like it's coming the sound or voice or music or whatever you want to you know, uh, play is coming right from the center of your head so it works pretty well in war and you can imagine other effects you're getting brutalized beaten up all virtual and the brain damage unfortunately <laughs> that's they're going to have to work on that but otherwise you can literally traumatize an entire population so targeted individuals will hear a clicking and then instruction telling them what to do. And it gets abusive if you're not doing it. So they'll break you down and say horrible things like your family hates you. They want to murder you. Or he, he talks about how if there's a certain sort of like politician they want gone, they will target individuals so that this person thinks that that politician's voice is in their head, driving them crazy to the point where these people want to pull out a gun and kill that particular politician. And so that's why he also mentions later that guns, he said, if they want to disarm a country, they can mind control people already to go do mass shootings so that everyone agrees to give up their guns. Because the gun, the, the agenda for North America is to disarm us. 
So some of them, it's just people that are crazy. We know that. But he talks about it later. If they have a certain agenda they need to accomplish, they can get somebody to just go do it with mind control. They're already testing it out on people. And they usually use people that are loners, weird, who you would assume might end up being a school shooter because they're picked on, they're lonely, maybe they're on drugs. He, anyway, he talks about who they target. Even though this technology is very old, very old. What, te the Neuralink technology? Yeah. Yeah. Really? How old is it? I can track back at least synthetic telepathy or piping voices into people's head uh, right around Kennedy's assassination. But uh, about 1958 was the earliest target I could find. It really seemed to come online with a bunch of people in about 1976, which was the bicentennial of this nation. And there seems to be increases in the number of people that have these complaints given bigger military budgets. Now, why there's a correlation there, I don't know. You'll have to make your own speculation. But this isn't new. Havana Center, it's not new by any means. It has a new name. It's getting recognition by the news. But honestly, it's been squelched. It's been covered up for many, many decades. This, These military operations, a lot of people are finding out about them. I don't know what we're going to do about it, but it's important that we all understand what's going on. Like Truth has to be brought to light first and, and we know that's the first step.